I'm Ethan Bash. I'm a professor of medicine and public health at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. So we conducted a randomized controlled trial which set out to ask the question if we can provide electronic tools to patients to self-report their own symptoms to their nurses and physicians would that improve their clinical outcomes. So we found in this study that uh, when we provide these electronic tools to patients, specifically a website through which they could report their own symptoms weekly with alerts sent to their nurses for severe or worsening symptoms, that compared to patients receiving usual care, those patients who were self-reporting had a number of improved outcomes. The first improved outcome was improved quality of life. The second was uh, fewer emergency room visits. The third was improved physical functioning. And the final one was the ability to receive chemotherapy for longer, on average two months longer, uh, presumably because uh, patients' symptoms were being caught earlier before uh, they became severe. Taken together, these, uh, these findings likely account for the most striking result in this study, which was an improvement in overall survival. We found that compared to usual care, or the standard care, that those patients who were self-reporting had a 5.2 month overall survival benefit. We've conducted a number of both feasibility and usability studies, uh, including patient self-reporting of their symptomatic adverse events. In general, we found that the vast majority of patients are willing and able to self-report their own adverse events electronically during participation in a clinical trial with uh, rates of compliance uh, in the range of 90 to 95% at any given expected time point. There are a number of things that can be done to improve uh, adherence or compliance. Uh, one of those is to make sure that we emphasize within the trial to both the participants and staff the importance of collecting this information, but also for those patients who don't necessarily report on time to have some backup data collection mechanism that's generally conducted by the local site data manager, but also can be centrally done. Overall in these studies, we found also that the electronic systems that have been developed are highly usable, meaning that if there are contemporary approaches used for data visualization and data flow, the patients find these approaches very easy to use and can get through them rather quickly. Recent presentations and papers from authors at the FDA have suggested that there are three components to patient-reported outcome assessment that they will consider to be meaningful or informative in oncology drug development. The first is disease-related symptoms, for example, pain related to uh, metastatic prostate cancer. The second is physical functioning, for example, uh, patients' performance status or their ability to conduct their activities of daily life uh, during treatment for a particular condition. And the third is symptomatic adverse events, for example, through assessment of particular AEs using the PRO-CTC AE. 